everyone i'm sharing with you how to make another flat wallet for men i make many for my kid and they loved it i got this fabric at walmart for a dollar yard and it i got a lot and um so i cut two fabric right here and the size is seven inch and a half by nine inch and three quarter of an inch and i have two and i cut the heat and bone and interfacing so this one i have the paper and one side here is, um, that you can iron on and then the other side you can stick on the other uh, fabric and it make it flat instead of the interface and it make it thicker but if you want to you can use interface and for it and the side of this hidden bond tape is thick and half in by eight in and three four so you can see i have one inch shorter than the fabric side so that means when I place in here, I'm going to place in the fabric. When I place in here, I have all around half an inch lighter. And then you can go in the front and you start ironing in the front. Very simple. Now you open this, you can peel the paper out. And then you go on to put it there. I'm going to show you after. Let's just do this folding first, okay? And this side right here, you're going to do exactly the same. So you can use this paper. This paper now is not sticky anymore because the sticky part is already on that one. So as long as you have this fold on the four side like this, you should be fine. So do both at the same. Take this out. When you take it out, you can go one more time and iron it. You just want to make sure it's staying down. On or this fold right here, instead of doing that to make it so thick, you're going to fold in this way like this. Okay. Now push this in and move this line down. But fold this line like this and then move this in just like so okay so it's like that so go like that and then move this down and press you don't need to iron press it down like that do all four and then also on this one too here i have two and a half inch by four inches long and i'm going to fold it in half And then a quarter of an inch at the end, just one end, a quarter of an inch. This side, a quarter of an inch. And then from here, two joists together like this you're going to sew this sew this and sew this so now after i fold on the side like that and um, i'm gonna put the one with the interfacing on the side and let me just do the one without the interfacing so on this one you're going to fold it into half 
and make sure everything is meet up nicely like this. Okay, and then after that, you're going to do the other half in half on the left side in half. You only iron on the bottom here. I sew one end together and then the other end I don't have to. From the fold here in, you're going to mark one end. Okay, and now you're going to add this in there. Make sure it's straight out. And I'm going from the outside in. Just to add that in there. And now I'm going to put this on the side. This is one thing without the interfacing and I use this. And I'll bring back the interfacing side. I'll just put this out the way. And for this one with the interfacing, you use the right side. So I'm going to fold it in half. On this, at this time, I don't use the iron because it has the interfacing. But you're going to make sure everything lie up. So you can have the divide like that okay and same thing you're going to do this way again the half in half and press with your finger this time we go on the right side you're going down to an inch and half I'm going to add the magnet button in there and then I'm going to mark the two on the side Cut this. I'm using this side for this, the thick side of the magnet button for this one. Okay, go on this one side like that. And then I'm going to add this place on. You can spread this out. Okay, so now it's one side is done. Now this is the other side. You're going to place the the um, the wrong side with the wrong side. This half interfacing in there. You're going to make sure it stay in all good together. Everything meet up nicely. Okay, so it's like this, everyone. So you have the button go, and then this one, iron this. You have to make sure because when you iron the interfacing, the heat and bone interfacing going to glue both of them together. So when you iron, you're out of luck, you can't fix it. Now you have those two right here. Go close to the side here and then you go on the top that all four side. So I'm gonna roll the fabric in the same thickness of that. So everyone after I top the four sizes here, you can see you're gonna pay attention the the thing is on this side on the top. Do exactly what I'm doing and then you're not confused. So facing this and then on the bottom here, this is the the magnet bust and facing down this way okay just do like that then you you won't confuse now i'm gonna fold the right side to the left side when i fold i'm gonna make sure everything is meet up nicely like this everyone okay now you go into iron it so i'm gonna go and clip this one down so that way when I fold it, it won't go crazy, okay? Because this particular one that you gotta do it right, if not, it's gonna go crazy. So like that, clipping it in and clip it here too. Like that, okay? And now you're going to fold the bottom up to meet here so then when you fold it the button is start showing on the top here when it's going up here you're going to make sure again everything is lie up 
take a little time everyone but it's come out nice now you have something like this okay go and iron it you're going to sew the side and on this side you're gonna easier you start from the fold up lay this in and you see the top stitch that we did earlier i'm gonna make sure the needle get down there first get down on the fabric to add this thickness of the fabric in the front of the presser foot right there flip it down now so I use size 12 needle. If your machine cannot go through this, would I doubt it? You can use the hand wheel. And you can hand wheel this whole thing all the way up and I show you right now. So hand wheel all the way, just like this, okay? It will be able to do that, but I'm just showing you. If you don't want to change your needle size, then you can hand wheel this one. Go all the way to the top. Okay, just like so. So everyone, after I sew on this side, and then I sew on this side, and then here you have a pocket of the very flat wallet. It is so awesome. One, two, three. Pull this down until you see it's nice and relaxed right on top of this one. You can feel the holes underneath here. That is right here. Very, very cute. So now you're done. You're going to lift this up like that. Snap it down. And then on this side, you go ahead and sew this light in. Just like that. everyone I finished and this is the magnet bust and it's just like that snap it right there it's flat and it have pocket in here that you can put thing in here so I can just put some money in and then you can put some card in there and then you still have another pocket to put thing so just put some in I don't I don't play Pokemon okay I'm just showing you this thing and then put some card in the other side just like that and when you're done you snap it like that it's a magnet very pretty easy to do that's the thing so let me see it four and a half inch down down here it three in and a quarter good size everyone look at that Nice and flat. It's good for Father Day. Stay safe and take care everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to support my channel. Like, share and subscribe. And also click on the like button if you like our video. 
don't forget to turn on the bell notification so every time I upload a video you never miss any of that love you